Mama Creations and Tarot and I am back and I'm gonna be wearing this sweatshirt a bunch in a bunch of videos because I'm cramming these all in in one day. Um, if you hadn't watched my other video, I just moved um, and I'm still trying to organize my life. I had a stack of boxes and of subscription boxes plus tarot cards. So I'm excited to open all these for you guys. Um, currently, I'm in my office space. That's why we've got this like thing behind me because I work from home. Um, I'll be getting my altar set up at some point and then you guys will probably see a different background. Um, or maybe you'll see this one. I don't know, I might hang something cool up there at some point that I can you know, bring up and down. This is actually like a movie screen that my boyfriend so um, expertly hung. <laughs> So anyways, today I'm doing the Witch's Moon for November. Um, you guys have probably already seen this with other people because I'm late opening this, but I think I just, today is Monday and I got this at my old house, um, like Saturday. So I don't know, maybe you're just now seeing this. So let's open it up. All right, so, I mean, it just looks like this, very plain. It's like a cream color here. Whoa show you this here. There's the inside. So we've got our, it is hot in here though. I may have to change to a t-shirt. Um, so this is my card. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to, let me bring my light down a little bit. So it says dreaming of you. On the back it says someone you love will appear to you in your dreams. They reflect a part of you. A time of remembrance, a time of reflection and healing. So we'll find out what deck this is from. And we've got our paperwork here. I'm getting excited. All right, so the theme is the witch and the wind. So, oh, I wonder if we're doing like um, the elements. I'm very sad though. I actually, this is gonna be my last subscription box of any of the boxes for just a little bit because um, I'm trying to pay something very important right now. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna stop getting these, which makes me very sad <laughs> for a while and then I'll come back to it. So um, you guys may not see some subscription boxes from me. I do have like a ton of tarot decks coming. Um, I have been backing a bunch on Kickstarter. So you will be seeing tarot decks coming from me. I have, whoa. Sorry, this desk really moves a lot. Um, I actually have four tarot decks that I need to unbox for you guys. Um, so we're gonna see if we can get these in in like a couple days. <laughs> All right, so let's read about this. It says, at last the witch sat quietly among the deep forest trees. As she spoke to the soil and sang to the leaves, she began to wonder. Combing through the list of challenges she currently faces, she inhaled deeply, sighing on the circumstances ahead. Breaking the silence, a strong wind brushed against her face as if to wake her. A gentle yet important reminder has been passed to her, I need, my, I need this to keep my place, <laughs> by the watchful winds, providing her with messages and insight that she may choose to inspire and empower her. In this very special November Witch's Moon collection, we work, this, we work with the spirits of the wind allowing us to call upon the deep and intimate energies that waved within them. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we provide exclusive tools that were created to enhance the magic that flows along the ever-changing path ahead. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go just down the line here because there is a big thing right on top. In this plastic, or a brown paper bag. So we have a sigil. Not sure if I've got this upright. Um, it looks as though we've got maybe Gemini and then, um, is that Saturn? 
Saturn in there. So there's that. Oh, there's, um, oh, okay. This is our artwork. I didn't know what this was. Okay, let's see if it says something about the sigil. Effort, uh, effortless Movement Sigil. This sigil was created for this very special collection and comes from our personal book of shadows, copied from the carefully hand-painted original piece. The intention that resonates within the sigil is that of effortless, effortless movement. As an air sigil, the energies associated with this design represents the continuous ability to move through life with ease, allowing the challenges and disruptions to easily brush off of our shoulders. As we allow our anxieties and fears to dissipate, we begin to gain a sense of clarity and calm providing us with new energy and vibrance. As a result, our communication becomes resonant and authentic to our true self. You will see the small dot placed at the top side of the sigil for reference. Oh, okay. Incorporate the sigil into your practice in a way that feels appropriate to your needs. Okay, so I guess this is the um, upright. And I'm assuming maybe these lines are Aquarius, because that's an air sign. Then we have Gemini, which is an air sign. Um, Libra if I'm not mistaken, is the other air sign. I'm sure it's in here somewhere, but anyways, there's a sigil. And I said in my last um, video, if you watched me unbox another box that we won't talk about on this video, um, I'll put these things that I get from the boxes on my altar for the month. And then afterwards, um, I've been putting them in a binder to um, kind of book of shadows or reference or whatever. So, all right. And then we have the Watchful Winds, little maybe invocation. If you guys wanna pause that and read, but I will read it to you. Okay, so it says, Wind Correspondences, Book of Shadows. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create exclusive pieces of artwork to provide you with information regarding the Northeast, South, and West winds. This artwork and information provided has been written and illustrated by A.E. Alden, which um, I don't know if that's a male or female. Actually, I call her a female. I don't know. Um, she pretty much does all the artwork and has ever since I've always subscribed. These beautiful pieces provide reference for many of the symbols, keepers, and gifts associated with the wind spirits or animoi in ancient Greek mythology. Place with your book of shadows for reference or display upon the altar. I will do both. <laughs> so it says the watchful winds, the buried, hopefully I can read this. Sometimes it's so like artistic that I can't read it. In buried mounds upon tethered posts, I call to the winds to guide and host. Upon the north wind, the great beyond, may I be granted the access to the astral bonds. Upon the east winds, sure and strong, provide me with confidence so my path ventures on. Upon the south winds, within the astral den, I ask to be connected, guided to how and when. Upon the west wind, the gentle and wise, may my scars be forgiven through the healing cry. As I let go, as I let live, let my spirit thus waft upon the watchful winds, so mote it be. So this actually would be a good, like, um, almost calling of the quarters because um, they're talking about, did they say south, north, east, south, yes, west. Okay, so it's all the corners. So this would be kind of a cool little thing to do if you're um, calling in like the watch or whatever. So there's that. Oh, look at this artwork. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Basset or what. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it says Euros. Isn't, Euros is also, let's see if I'm right. Isn't Euros like Cupid? Hold on. Let's find out. You know what, I may have like misspoke. My God, there's a bunch of artwork. I may have misspoke about what this one was. Um, this is, it says, this one, sorry guys. It says the Watchful Winds Incantation Book of Shadows. We've included this exclusive artwork within the box to accompany your Watchful Winds spell candle. Oh, I guess it's a, yeah, spell candle. 
After using this incantation, we recommend placing within your book of shadows for future reference. Okay, that's what that is. Um, the wind correspondence. Oh, maybe. I feel like I'm missing one. Um, missing one. Huh. Oh, I'm, no, I'm crazy. Okay, okay, okay. So, these other artworks are northeast, southwest. I can't freaking read this. Does that say east? Yes. Okay, so this is for the east wind. Um, and it doesn't actually tell you. So, it says, Euros was the personification of the east wind. One of the four directional animoi, I don't know if I'm saying that right, associated with the season of autumn, Euros dwelt near the palace of the sun god Helios in the far east. The Romans used the Greek name uh, Euros for the east wind. Alternative Latin names include Volturnus, or Volturnus, <laughs> a little spelled differently. Um, anyways, and then it gives like symbols um, keepers of the east and gifts of the east wind. So that's east. And then we have west. Look how pretty. She's so pretty. And it says uh, Zephyros was the Greek personification of the west wind, one of the four seasonal winds known as the Animoi. Zephyros was considered the gentlest of the directional winds especially in comparison to the strong south wind and the colder north wind. The west wind traditionally heralded in the spring season of the Roman Venti, the west wind went by the nearly identical name Zephyrus or Favinus, meaning favorable. Today, the name Zephyrus is used to generally describe a warm, light breeze. And again, it's got symbols and all that good stuff in there. Then we have our uh, south wind. Let's see that fun guy. He looks like he's got like a, um, like a wolf little hat thing on him. Notus is the personified winged deity of the south wind. One of the mythical wind spirits, the Animoi Notus, was the wet, storm bringing wind of fate, summer and early autumn. Notice resided in Ethiopia and legendary southernmost realm in Ethiopia. The Roman south one was known as Aster, Oster. Okay, and then we have the north wind. Very good, he almost looks like a Santa Claus guy, okay. Boreas is the personified winged deity of the North Wind, one of the four seasonal wind spirits called Animoi in ancient Greek mythology. Boreas heralded in winter weather, hailing from the cold northern mountains of Thrace. Ooh, Thrace. Is that a real place? So have you guys ever watched um, Spartacus? I think it was on, was it on Stars? So Spartacus was from Thrace. I mean, I'm sure that stories of Spartacus, like anywhere, he's from Thrace. I don't know. I've only watched the uh, star show. The Animoi were adopted by the Romans as the Venti in the North Wind as Aquilo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Anyways, so there's that. So we got those artworks. Nice, very nice. All right, what to get next? Um. Let me see if I can try to go. There's a spell candle somewhere. Let's grab that. Okay. Ooh, it's blue. I'm making a mess, by the way. So we got a blue spell candle and it's got herbs. As you can see, they're falling off. Let me see this over here. I am making a damned mess. I've got salt on my desk from earlier, so we're good to go. Okay, 
the hand rolled the watchful wind spell candle we have hand rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of opening your environment to the influences of the watchful winds we recommend burning this candle during times of deep intentional work where you may be seeking answers support and guidance in your immediate reality we always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak words clearly out loud enhancing your relevance and intention in other world realms as the flame from this candle dances before you take the time to listen intently speak clearly and act confidently we have enchanted this candle with the oils of spearmint peppermint lemon and lavender we have also pressed dried lavender buds around this candle to allow calming and inviting energies into your space and it's all over my desk <laughs> Um, if you are unable to use a candle, blah, blah, blah. All right, this tells you about making a puddle with the wax. Blur to blur. Okay. All right. Let's look for our anointing oil. They have been including lately a, um, a spray thing for the oil. The oils are getting bigger. But, oh, this is just actually a spray. Is Wait, just kidding. This is our oil. I have gotten an oil, though, recently that had a spray thing. Maybe it was just a spray and I'm crazy. I don't know. All right. The four winds. Four winds. Look at all the yummies inside of there. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, four winds anointing oil. Let me smell it. It's, <laughs> I always just want to say it's a clean smell. It sound, smells like um, some sort of lemon is in there. I love lemon. Okay, the four winds magical anointing oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of bringing you closer to the energy of the four winds. This is a wonderful oil to anoint specific magical tools with such as statues, coins, and talisman. As you anoint your magical tools, it is very important for you to be speaking your intentions during the process. This gives purpose and permission to the energies you wish to create and call upon. Along with other air blends, this very special anointing oil brings with it a sense of, God, my foot's going to sleep. Hold on, guys. My boyfriend always yells at me because I sit on my feet and then I cry about it. <laughs> okay, where were we? Um, this gives purpose and permission to the energies you wish to create and call upon. Along with other air blends, this very special anointing oil brings with it a sense of understanding, willingness, communication, and action. We have enchanted this magical oil with peppermint. Okay, I, I thought I had smelled peppermint too. Peppermint, lavender, and lemongrass oils. There's my lemon. And have included dandelion leaf, linden leaf, and anise seed as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of the Keeper of the Winds magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. Um, and then it's a sunflower base. All right, very good. Yeah, it smells amazing. Uh, let's see, sacred so salt, let's grab that. So we have Enlil, or what does it say? Breath of Enlil. In there. I spilled one from another box earlier, so I won't tip it too much. All right, let's see what's in this guy. Breath of Enlil, sacred salt, known to be the ancient Mesopotamian god of wind and air, Enlil sits on the highest throne of mythology and ideology in the ancient pantheon. Also called upon as the lord of the air, Enlil carries power and presence beyond belief and is said to control the gentle or aggravated storms or breezes passing along the earthly terrain. As the ruler of the sky, the breath of Enlil is known to bring great blessings and fertility upon those permitted to receive it. We have created the sacred salt with the intention of incorporating wind and air 
energies into your bath ritual. As you sit with these natural energies, practice breath working rituals that may allow you to heighten your consciousness. While you are free of anxiety, negative self-talk or worry, allow yourself to resonate with feelings of accomplishment, purpose, and meaningful progress. Know that the path of action you choose to take will lead to victory. We have enchanted the sacred salt with lavender and spearmint oils, as well as linden leaf, spearmint leaf, and chamomile herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our call upon and prosper magic oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. Awesome. Yeah, so um, moving into uh, my boyfriend's house, he's got like this amazing clawfoot tub. So yay for ritual bath. All right, let's see. Next, okay, this was what I was picking up earlier. It is Gentle Air Ritual Oil Spray, or excuse me, Ritual, let me start over. Gentle Air Ritual Aura Spray. I had gotten a um, Come To Me Aura Spray from them a while back. Oh my God, it was amazing. It's all gone, like I used every drop of it. I need to buy some more. I think they sell it on their website. Um, obviously, I'll put links below to their website if you guys wanna check that out. Come to me, mm, it is amazing. Let me smell. Mm. There is, I think I've got spearmint in here. If I can get this on here, let's just spray ourselves. Maybe, oh yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways. Yeah, I know my, I'm gonna have to figure out a good way to do lighting around here because it's not, it's not happening right now. All right, so Gentle Air Virtual Aura Spray. We are thrilled to be able to introduce, introduce our Gentle Air Ritual Aura Spray within this collection. We have created this aura spray with the purpose of easing any concerns that you may perceive as a burden, potentially slowing any progress you wish to achieve. Let me spray more on me. <laughs> uh, I'm a little behind in life, so maybe this will help me out. We recommend using this aura spray during times of stress or when you feel as if your responsibilities and tasks are too much to overcome. I got lots of that too. As you spray this elixir throughout your surroundings, visualize your physical being becoming weightless and your mind becoming clearer. As you touch anything that surrounds you, be gentle as if there is... No need to place effort on tasks that do not need it. We have created this aura spray with the oils of lemon, spearmint, bergamot, and a special mixture of our Ventum, V-E-N-T-U-M, magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Very nice, it smells really good. Um, this will be one that I use a lot too. All right. Oh my God, I see something poking out that looks really cool, but I'm not gonna get it yet. Okay, I think I just read this. Here we have a cute, like, blue organza bag. And there's... I have been buying tons of selenite recently. <laughs> I do not have this, a cool palm stone like this. Actually, I, I don't know where any of my stuff is. I have, like, Selenite wands like all over the place. Oh, here's one. No, actually, so this one, it like broke. You see how it's flat back here? And it's like rounded here. It was like a wand and it broke in three pieces, but I guess it was meant to be in three pieces. So I've got it kind of scattered around. So there's that cool thing. But anyways, so we got this selenite palm stone. You have to be careful with selenite. It's I think a Mohs hardness scale of two, so it can break very easily. Um, but you can use this to like charge other crystals. Um, it's a good thing to just lay all around the house for protection. Let's see what, um, what they had to say. Used as a facilitator of cleansing and communication. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Um, to kind of cleanse your home, like having it spread around, cleansing your home of like negative energy. Uh, used as a facilitator of cleansing and communication. 
Selenite is a wonderful partner to work with. While we commonly use this stone to attract spirits near, selenite can be placed on several chakra centers to cleanse and realign before starting any spiritual or magical practice. In addition, while seeking answers to challenging questions, selenite is a wonderful tool to help open passages for your guides to send messages and signs. Elemental connection is air in water. Chakra connection is the sacral in the third eye and it's associated with Selena, which is like a goddess, like a moon goddess. So there's that, I love it. I love palm stones. I will just sit and like rub them while I'm working or just as a fidget spinner, you know what I mean? Just whenever, I, cause I can't sit still, so. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's find our incense. It says remembrance. You smell it. What's that smell like? I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. All right, let's see. Remem remembrance ritual incense sticks. We have placed remembrance ritual incense sticks within the collection for you to burn on or near your altars or to incorporate within your rituals. This wonderfully fragrant incense was placed within this collection with the intention of allowing you to experience flashes of understanding during ritual or meditation. As the smoke from this incense wafts throughout your surroundings, visualize the physical space around you disappearing, making space for your thoughts and intentions to wave throughout multiple spectrums. I guess they're not gonna tell us what it, what's in it, I don't know. It smells good. All right, let's get our, I feel like we're getting close to, maybe, the, okay, so there's another bag in here. I think this is actually our, um, yeah, our herbs. Okay, let's see what we got first. So, linden leaf. And this says, known for its protective qualities, linden leaf is most commonly seen growing in gardens as a measure of safety against psychic and physical attacks, as well as protection. Linden leaf is used during ritual to keep spirits present and alive while you work through your practices. We recommend placing linden upon your altar during divinatory practices to maintain a source of communication. Gender association is masculine, elemental connection is air, and planetary connection is Jupiter. Cool, so like I'm a tarot reader, so I will maybe burn this on a charcoal disc while I'm doing tarot readings. And then we've got, I don't know how to say this, Chikori. All right, the remover of obstacles or Chikori is an absolute favorite of ours and is a friendly companion for any practitioner. Carry this fragrant herb within a mojo bag or sachet as you go on about your day to break down any barriers that may send, may stand in your way. Associate gender association, masculine, elemental is air, obviously, this is an air box. <laughs> Planetary connection is the sun. Actually, I wanna smell it because it said fragrance, so let's see. I'll go ahead and smell all of them. Does this have something to do with licorice? That name actually made me think of that. So, it smells good. It smells kind of like, like a not super, you know, like how black licorice smells really, really strong. Like it's sort of like that, but not that strong. Mm, our linden leaf smells really good. It smells leafy. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have anise seeds. Oh, I think I'm making a mess. I've got, um, do I have any anise seeds? I have anise star, um, but I don't have, like sitting on like cr crinkle things from the box. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says about the anise seeds. I may have some, I'm not sure. I mean, I think I showed you guys before. Of course, I don't have anything near me, but I, I like to put all of these in little glass with corks and I make my own labels and stuff. I think I tried to pull the labels off of here. I guess I probably could, 
but um, I end up putting like what it's used for too on my little label. I make it with my um, Cricut and with Photoshop. Okay, and these seeds, used during meditation, excuse me, mediation to maintain relaxation and a sense of calm. And these seeds have commonly been placed within sachets or incorporated into incense blends for ritual use. And these seeds have also been used to call upon spirits when seeking guidance and direction. Place upon your altar or use within the creation of elixirs to enhance the energy surrounding you. Gender association is also masculine. Elemental is obviously air. And planetary connection is Jupiter. Um, oh, here's our... Let me drop a bunch of things. Um, the Oracle card that I got. It says, we have meditated and selected a card from the Spirit Oracle Guidance card deck by Tony Carmine Salerno to place inside your box. As stated on the box that this card originally came from, the cards honor the feminine form and spirit as well as the energy of the masculine. This card and the message that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world. I, um, I love getting these cards. And I've said it before, I end up using them, like I'll put them on my altar for a while and then I'll use them as bookmarks or something like that. Or, you know, I end up getting too many so I don't really need them all for bookmarks. I will put them in my book of shadows. So that's pretty fun. I need to like make like pockets, like I'm a scrapbooker too. So make a little pocket so I can slide it in that way you can take it out. Cause some of them obviously you wanna see the back and the front. That's a project that I will start doing um and then it also talks about um your parchment paper they always give you one that you can put in um your book of shadows i think so in my coven we just got um new uh pen pals for the year shout out to marisol what girl oops <laughs> So Marisol is my, my pen pal for the year. Super excited. Hey girl, what's up? Um, so maybe I will write her an actual letter using some of this parchment paper. That'd be fun. All right. Um, there is something else in this box and I skipped over it. Okay. It was like the first thing. I think this is, this is the very last thing. This is totally freaking cool. Look at him. And it just says the witch's moon and it's got a thing where we can hang it. My boyfriend loves me so much and he's gonna hang all my things. I'm gonna tell him tonight. <laughs> so, oh, he's so cool. What's fun is in another box, not to be named, um, I got a little plaque for Earth because they're also doing an elemental thing. God, I'm so pissed that I stopped subscribing to these boxes. I feel like I need to um, just keep working extra shifts, pay for the thing I need to pay for, and just keep subscribing. I'm gonna do it. But I'm probably, I'm gonna lose like a month because I, anyways, whatever. This is, this is my hardship over here that <laughs> I'm gonna miss a month or so of my boxes but maybe I'll be able to buy, because I bet you anything, we're gonna be going through um, all the elements and we're just now doing air, so. Um, and I love his color, this is like one of my colors, so besides purple, um, blues are my favorite. Um, so yeah, he's pretty awesome. But I did get like an earth plaque from another place, but I was thinking about hanging these in the, you know, in the quarters, so that way when I do call, um, I can face and I don't even have to get my compass out because sometimes I forget <laughs> what direction. But if I see my, my error up in, if in that corner, then I know that's the one. So let's read about this handsome guy. It says, hand carved wind spirit plaque. There is much wisdom to be gained from working with the great and powerful air and wind energies. The lessons learned are some that hold such deep and intimate meaning to your craft practices and perspectives as well as holding a very sacred place within magical practices of old. You will find a bounty of wonderful stories that span across the world, capturing the magic and messages 
that the wind carries upon its back. From the gods and goddesses that control and maintain the severity of storms to the deep and spiritual uh, divinatory practices used to understand the future and what may be coming upon the horizon. As wind is very much associated with the element of air, we work with these energies in the same context, understanding that action, progress, clarity, and transformation may play a large role in its practical uses and incorporation. Air and wind bring new ideas and opportunities, washes away confusion and tainted perspectives, brings change to our environmental and mental processes, and most importantly, facilitates movement during times of stagnation. In addition, the wind provides us with more opportunities to communicate with spirit, hoping to purvey messages and signs to those that are willing and intuitive enough to listen. We have worked to capture the essence of these energies within this hand-carved wind spirit made from sacred teak wood, ethically sourced. This beautiful lightweight wood is often known to live for up to, up to 1500 years, carrying within it countless messages of experience and wisdom, whispered to it by the watchful winds. This very plaque has been in the process of being created for almost an entire 12 moon cycles, resonating deeply with our purest of intentions. In its masculine form, this wind spirit has been carved to bring momentum to actions you may tend to put off or push away, yet are the most necessary on your path to capture and achieve true manifestations. Allow this carving to remind you to stop and listen, letting go of cluttered inner conversation and perspectives. The knowledge that is found within the wind that flows around you carries very personal and specific messages. In these wonderful transformative moments, we tend to forget the role of others in the status quo pushed upon our psyche by those around us. Relax and focus on your breathing, allowing your body to become weightless and your movement to become effortless. As stated, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I keep scratching my nose. Like I'm allergic to so many things and I've smelled so many things <laughs> in the last hour or so that um, it's starting to... Um, mess with my allergies. As stated by many throughout time, the winds are changing. We must contemplate what this may mean to our personal path and allow ourselves to connect with these divine energies. We truly wish for the spirit wind to guide and assist you on your very important journey ahead. We urge you to call upon the wind spirits you wish to, where am I at? The wind spirits we wish to guide and assist you on your very important journey ahead. We urge you to call upon the wind spirits you wish to connect with and ask questions, state your intentions and say words of grateful testimony. May the winds push and pull, wind and weave, or excuse me, wind and weave, bestow and let carry on, G. Ibis. Okay, awesome, I think that's it. So again, we've got our awesome plaque obviously my fave from this box, the um, sigil. We got the wind correspondence books of shadows, which is um, these four. The hand rolled candle, the sky, the watchful winds, incantation, the anointing oil, where'd you go? This guy, the sacred salt, the aura spray, the selenite palm stone, which I love, the remembrance, incense sticks. Then we've got our linden leaf, the chicory and anise seeds, all of those. My oracle card, and then our parchment paper. Awesome. So that is it for this box. This was the Witch's Moon for November 2020. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Isn't he amazing? I'm super excited to hang him up. Or, or have my boyfriend do it because, you know, like, I'm busy. And he's my man, so he can 
He can help me out with that. Um, he's gonna kill me after I have him hang everything I want him to hang. <laughs> I've also got, I've, anyways, I'll show you guys sometime. After I get everything set up, I'll show you guys like all my fun mess that I've got like all over this room. So, or I will have. So anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. I would love if you guys would give me a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Um, I will have links below where you guys can connect with me in other ways. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Bye.